let's build a simple data scraper to pull some information on these dog toys into Google Sheets. So I uh, will open up our product. I will open up Cheat Layer. And let's grab the price and the title and some of this about information. So I'm going to start with this price element. And this is where, again, Print to Console can come in handy. As you see, there's a number of overlapping elements here. Uh, so if this is the span element that we want. This is where the hotkey control enter can come in real handy on some of these smaller elements. It may be difficult to roll over them and click add to cheat. So you can just use control enter and it gets you back to this uh, no code action menu. So we are going to use the save variable action here on the price. And then we are going to get the first bullet point here in the about this item section. And this is an element I've used print to console on previously. So I know that the X path is actually the best selector for this object. So I'm going to switch my selector to X path and save this as a variable. And now we'll highlight the title of this. And we're going to use the scrape to G sheets action. So now we will create a new Google Sheet. And all we need to do is copy this URL from our Google Sheet, insert it here into our Google Sheets ID. And the other field we want to make sure matches is the sheet name. It is set to the default name of sheet one, so we are okay with that. But if we have a worksheet that has multiple tabs, uh, we'll want to make sure we're using the right tab name and that this matches. So now we can run this automation, we'll do a file run. And if this is your first time doing this, you will be prompted to sign into your Google account and allow cheat layer access to your Google account. And here's the Google sign in. So I'll select my Google account. And all we have to do is allow cheat layer access to edit our Google Sheets. So now we can see in our console output that we have run, run the script and added a row to Google Sheets. And over here in our Google Sheet, we can see this information. And something else to note here, the title, although it was the last thing we added into our automation, is in our first column. And that's because whatever we use that scrape to G Sheets action on, that's going to be in the first column. And then our save variables will be in the order in which we save them after that. So that's just something to keep in mind as you're building your automation. Whatever you want in your first column, you're going to need to add at the end of your automation and use the scrape to G Sheets action on because this picks up all of the previous save variables. So I will now save this into my Amazon folder. So So now that we have built an automation to scrape data from one of these products, we can use GPT-3, the AI component of Cheat Layer, to run that automation on all of these product listings. GPT-3 is kind of like your personal software developer. So we will prompt this in natural language and it is going to generate some pretty powerful code for us. So, what we're going to tell it to do is collect all the links on the page that include dp slash. And I'll talk about that in a moment. And then run a script called dog toy data on them. And we want to make sure this is spelled exactly the way we have it saved. 
And what DP slash is, is this is just an identifier in the URL of all Amazon products. And we just figured this out by looking at a few of them. Most websites are constructed in a similar fashion. It may be product slash or profile slash, but similar pages will have a common root in their URL that we can use to identify them and differentiate them from other links on the page. So I'm going to go ahead and click generate now. And GPT-3 just wrote all of this code. And I just wanted to check to make sure I had all of the capital letters in the right place, which we do. So we're good to go ahead and run this. So now we'll click file, run, and this will start to open up all of those products on this page in new tabs and scrape their information into our Google Sheet. So now we have several of these product listings opening up and their data is going to start coming into our Google Sheet. We take a look here. You can see we now have uh, several line items. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this. So we can interrupt this by going to where we originally ran the code and we just need to refresh this page and that will interrupt the code and stop the automation.